Scott, a lot of kids and some parents here in New Orleans and throughout the metro area are concerned tonight. And those concerns are legitimate given the fact that the governor and the State Board of Education are dug in on separate sides of this issue. In her Algiers kitchen preparing dinner for her family, Amanda Stenson is furious with Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal. I think it's really unfortunate that uh, he's paying more attention to his uh, politics than he is to our children's future. Stenson, the mother of a military family whose kids have attended school in other states and overseas, believes in Common Core, which seeks to establish consistent educational standards across the country. All our children should graduate and there should be an even playing field. But today, Governor Bobby Jindal unveiled his plan to put Common Core on the sideline, saying the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education sidestepped the law, which requires a competitive bid process when the state deals with vendors. We're very alarmed about choice and local control over curriculum being taken away from our parents and from our educators. Jindal's flip-flop on Common Core caught the attention of other elected leaders. Delaware Governor Jack Markell took to Twitter saying Jindal supported Common Core in 2010 with him and is aware the federal government isn't involved. Common Core has not been fully implemented yet in our state. We need to start this process over. But Bessie and State Superintendent John White say not so fast and aren't backing down. Despite Jindal's announcement, they say Common Core will be taught this year. Lawmakers say this brewing battle can only end up in one place. My assumption is that this can only end up in court. Do I think it goes as far as going to court? I, you know, I, I, I really can't say. Hopefully it doesn't. And if it does turn into a legal mess. But I think in the end the governor is going to prevail. I think that it will end with Bessie and the, and the Department of Education being on the right side and uh, I fear that it will cost us dollars that we can't afford to lose. Because right now the biggest losers are the kids and their parents who have no idea what they'll be taught in just a few short months. The schools already have started implementing, so it's actually like he wants us to turn back and he wants us to start over and start over would set our kids way back, especially kids like mine. It would set our kids way back. Well, we're already stuck in the middle. I mean, you've got teachers that are ready to implement Common Core and teaching and curriculums in the classroom, so what are they going to do? Also tonight, the Catholic Archdiocese is reportedly standing behind Common Core despite Governor Jindal's actions earlier today. Reporting on your side in New Orleans, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. Travers, thanks. The Bestie Board issued this statement, which reads in part, four years ago, our board committed to measuring learning in comparison with states across the country. And two years ago, the legislature put this plan into the law. Bessie is continuing to implement that law. And now our quick question tonight. That is a hot topic on our Facebook page. This uh, is getting a wide range of comments from you. Finally, good for you, Governor. Behind you 100% on this. Kathy says that. Also tonight, Leslie says, I have to see it to believe it. Must be a presidential election front. And Deirdre says, it would be nice if parents could sign up for CC workshops. How can teachers help children when they haven't had workshops on how to teach it? You can join the conversation right now on the WDSU Facebook page.